Um, I just wanted to pop on and show you some new things that came in the mail that I'm really excited about. I've been waiting for these to sort of get my shop update kick started, but I have my new scanner. It came in the mail. This is the CanoScan Lide 400 and it's my very first time using any kind of scanner for hand painted prints since um, painting with gouache has become like a new hobby and a new medium for me to create so I'm going to use this scanner to upload it to my laptop and also print um, mass produce some prints oh and I have one more thing and the paper that I'm going to use I've been using cardstock paper about 60 pound weight cardstock it just wasn't doing it for me um, the quality wasn't as high as I wanted it to be so I got this photo paper pro luster this is the Canon brand and behind me right here I've gotten a lot of questions about my printer it is the Canon TS 6300 in white I love it. It's um, really great and prints really great colors. So I'm excited to try it out on this paper. And I can't wait to show you guys my process of how I make prints. I don't know if you guys can see, but my desk area is kind of a mess right now. Um, I've been working on a new print that I've been hand painting. I need to finish this today as well, but what it looks like so far. A lot of people have been asking me where I got the name Blue Citrus from, so I can't wait to tell that story through this print. Um, and I will show my process of finishing this print in this video as well, but for now I'm going to unpack everything first. I noticed that this paper has a slight bit of a shine to it, which I really like. I think it adds to the more professional look. So yeah, overall I'm really happy with this paper. This is my first time using the Canon scanner, so I'll start off with this sample print. I just painted this one for fun. It's um, a couple of tulips, but for the scanner, I'll try this one out as a sample. I found the software really easy to use, so I would definitely recommend the scanner for any artists who are looking to scan their prints. And yay, I'm gonna transfer it over to my iPad and sort of get the layout right to print on 8.5 by 11 paper. I'll also be uploading more Procreate tutorials to my Patreon, so tell my patrons to keep an eye out for those. I'll also be linking this printer and the scanner and other materials that I use in the description box as well. So 
So I'm really happy with how the prints are coming out. The colors are so much more accurate to the actual paint colors. Um, so this is what the tulips look like. And I think the type of paper makes a huge difference when you're printing prints. So before when I was using cardstock, um, some of the colors would be really washed out. I'm not sure if any of you have had that issue as well, but I think the paper type and making sure you choose the right paper type is essential for the accuracy of the print. Um, I don't know if you can see the slight sheen on this paper. It's so beautiful and looks much more professional. Um, and yeah, I'm just really happy with how this is coming out. This was like a sample print. I'm not sure if I'll put this one in my shop, but now I'm really excited to scan these two because these two for sure are going on my shop. Um, yeah, so I'll just quickly scan these and show you how it turned out. So I wanted to show you how this one turned out. Little Choco is so cute. <laughs> I'm just really happy with how this turned out. I'm going to cut it with my um, paper cutter into the four by six print size. But anyways, I'm very happy so far with how these prints are turning out. Um, and after this, I will finish that other print that I showed you, a little sneak peek of, and scan that one too. love seeing final products come together so seeing it in the 4x6 form was definitely humbling and I'm really happy with how these look. Seeing the little Choco Buddies makes me so happy with his little sunglasses. <laughs> I hope you guys like this one too. I already cut this pond print earlier, but I think this is definitely my favorite out of the three. It definitely took me the most time, but I love how this whole spread turned out. So I actually had a late night last night finishing my print that I previously showed you guys. Um, it got too dark to film, so it is the next day. And I just wanted to show you a little peek at the print. So this is the backstory to how I named my channel and my shop Blue Citrus. Um, so 
can see her little blue collar with lemons. This is my cat, Dot, by the way. She has appeared in um, previous videos, um, but she has this collar with blue lemon, or not blue lemons, yellow lemons. That is blue. And I was just, you know, it was during quarantine, maybe about two years ago, and I was sitting on my couch and she was right next to me. And I looked over and I was like, oh, that'd be like a cute name, Blue Citrus. It was really random. Um, there isn't like a super deep meaning behind it, but it's stuck all this time. So I have to give props to the mascot of my shop, Dot, for that name. So I dedicated a little print to her. And that is the hand painted one. And last night I was experimenting and ta-da! I added another layer of details on Procreate after I scanned it, and this is the final print that will be on my shop. So this one was printed on the glossy photo print paper. Um, I really love the punchy colors of this one. I think it would look good on any wall, any um, room decor. I'm definitely gonna put this up on my wall this soon. So yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out, and. Now that I have the new print paper, I'm going to mass produce all my Patreon prints and get packing with those. So this is the print from August Rewards that I will be shipping out today and this is the print for September Rewards. The um, tier is still open this month for anyone who's interested, um, but this one is Follow Your Dreams. I thought it was a really cute, encouraging card, but yeah, I'll get started on cutting these for August. my first time doing a square print and I think I'm really happy with the symmetrical shape of this one. loving this blue green color palette but I think it's so cute how Choco's writing his best friend the turtle. Um, I think it's really uplifting and especially fun for um, brightening up any room. Now that I have all my prints prepped, I'm going to go straight into packing the orders from last month and this month's current patrons. So I hope you enjoyed this little packing segment. It's definitely my most favorite process of the day. I got this logo stamp from No Issue specifically for Patreon and shop orders and I think it's so cute and clean so I'm just going to stamp the rest of these envelopes so I can have a bit more branding on my patrons.
for this month, I put the stamp up in this top corner right here. Um, I might change it around, but let me know what you think. This is the Stardew Valley sticker sheet that I made for August. It's a lighter color palette and the duck is just my favorite. The most tedious part about packing them is I've been handwriting all the addresses. I think I might get stickers for my address at least, um, definitely to save my hand cramps. all the patron orders um, and I want to thank all my patrons so so much um, for any kind of support that you've been giving me it's really helping me to um, just run my shop and just be able to um, run my business so I am more than grateful and these will be shipped out today so I'm gonna go over to the mailbox and um, ship all these out but in the meantime thank you so much for joining me again this week and see you next time